How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. It's hard to bring up leg day without mentioning some type of squat. And despite the hundreds of variations you can perform, most people looking to make strength gains gravitate towards the squat rack and perform either back or front squats. Both versions are effective but does one hold a slight edge over the other? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. First, let's compare lower body strength gains that you can expect to obtain from both variations. For the most part, both front and back squats are going to recruit the same muscles. But results from a 2015 study showed that electromyographic activity of vastus medialis was found to be greater in the front squat and that semitendinosus was found to have greater activation in the back squat. Neither squat has a significant advantage over the other if all you're trying to do is build your squat booty. This finding was supported in a follow-up study published in 2016, where similar methodology was used in females. So there's no clear winner when it comes to making muscle strength gains, but what happens when we compare the two squats from an injury biomechanics perspective? Let's take a closer look. Spine, hip, and knee biomechanics are all legitimately different between both squat variations. This figure taken from a 2011 biomechanical analysis shows the fundamental barbell position for both back and front squats and resulting moment arms. During each squat, your muscles contract, which cause torque to be generated at the knee, hip, and lumbar spine. The goal of every squat is to generate maximum torque from the hip while keeping torque on the lower side at the lumbar spine and the knee. The perpendicular distance between the knee and the bar is longer during the back squat in comparison to the front squat. This is also the case at the lumbar spine. Since torque is the product of force and perpendicular distance, it is going to be higher at both the spine and knee during the back squat in comparison to the front squat. Sheer force generated at the spine and knees caused by excessive torque may lead to dysfunction and injury, especially when your form isn't clean. Therefore, the front squat may be a better option than the back squat if your goal is to prevent injury from occurring in both the knee and the lumbar spine down the road. I am not suggesting you discount the back squat altogether, but I do believe it is important to consider all aspects of the lift as they relate to your athletic and fitness goals, especially if you're lifting heavy. So are back or front squats more effective? They each possess their own advantages when it comes to building certain muscles, but when it comes to building glute strength, neither variation has a significant advantage over the other. From a biomechanical perspective, previous and current scientific literature suggest that the front squat will present the least amount of injury risk to the knee and lumbar spine. I personally prefer the front squat, but it's a fairly difficult move to master. So if you're gonna try it, make sure your wrist flexibility is up to standard. But what do you guys think? Are back or front squats more effective? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe. In any case, thank you so much for watching and stay strong.